so here's another question, the last in the series in the integration. We've got the following curve, um, the shaded region between x is pi by 6 and x is pi by 2. Rotate it 360 about the x-axis, show the volume is the following. The formula we're using, obviously, is the volume is pi, the integral um, of y squared dx. So in this case, its volume is pi, the integral between pi by 6 and pi by 2. Y squared is going to be 2 sine x plus cosec x squared dx. So that's pi. Let's just uh, expand this thing, the integral between pi by 6 and pi by 2. This would be 4 sine squared x plus 4 sine x cosec x plus cosec squared x, all with respect to x which is pi, the integral between pi by 6 and pi by 2, 4 sine squared x. Now cosec is 1 over sine, so sine times 1 over sine is just 1, so this is going to be plus 4 plus cosec squared x with respect to x. Okay, now we're in a position to start thinking the integration techniques. Firstly, how do you integrate sine squared? You have to use double angle formulae. You have to know the formula that cos of 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared single x. So sine squared single x is therefore 1 minus cos 2x uh, and a half of that, i.e. a half subtract a half cos 2x. So I'm going to use that instead here. So this is the integral. I'm going to take the limits away just for now. 4 times this thing, which would be 2 subtract 2 cos 2x plus 4 and cosec squared plus cosec squared x dx which is pi the integral 2 and 4 is 6 so it would be 6 subtract 2 cos 2x plus cosec squared x dx now do I know the integral of cosec squared well actually if I look in my formula booklet I do because in the formula booklet it tells me that if I differentiate, if y is equal to cot x and I differentiate this, then I get dy by dx is equal to negative cosec squared x. So integrating negative cosec must give me cot, so integrating cosec squared must give me negative cot. So I can integrate everything here. This is pi. 6 integrates to 6x. This here integrates to uh, negative sine 2x. And this here will integrate to negative cot of single x, all of this between pi by 6 and pi over 2. Keep the pi where it is. Let's substitute in pi by 2. 6 times pi by 2 is 3 pi. Okay, sine of pi is actually 0, so there'll be nothing there. And cot, pi, the cot of pi by 2 will tan of pi by 2, is infinite, so 1 over infinite, cot of pi by 2 must be 0. So when you put in pi by 2, you just get 3 pi. Let's put in pi by 6 now. 6 times pi by 6 is simply pi. Um, subtract uh, sine of two, 2 pi by 6, which is pi by 3. The sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2, so you're going to get negative root 3 over 2. And if you put pi by 6 in here, tan of pi by 6 is uh, tan of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. So the inverse of that is simply root 3. So I'm going to subtract root 3. Okay, let's try and tidy this up. This is going to be, therefore, pi. 3 pi take away pi is 2 pi. And then we're going to have plus root 3 over 2 plus root 3. And if I tidy this up, therefore, it's 2 pi. A half root 3 plus 1 root 3 is plus 3 over 2 root 3. And they want me to factorise out a half here, so I get a, take out a half pi. This then, dividing by half the same as times by 2, would be 4 pi plus 3 root. So this was supposed to be root 3, root 3, and I have got the answer.
and I'm done. <laughs>